Hey guys, it's me, Travis. Make sure that if you do enjoy this video, you click that thumbs up, you like the video, and then also, if you haven't yet, follow, aka subscribe to this channel. So, if you guys have seen my previous live streams uh, that I've done, I've done three of these already. Um, so this is Universal Yums. This box here is a company called Universal Yums. My wife subscribed me to a 12-month subscription box service thing where every single month, Universal Yums sends me a box of candy slash treats, snacks, whatever you want to call it, from one specific country. Uh, so I have, I'm not 100% sure what country is the, the one for here for March, but um, we're going to figure that out together and uh, try some candies and see if we like them or not. So yeah, let's see what we have in here. Um, like I said, I don't know what month uh, is this month here, so let's see what we got. Oh, boom! We got a Germany. Alright, so the first thing we got here is... Uh, looks like Funyuns or Onion Rings. Uh, ketchup flavored French fries. It's like a Mars, a stick of chocolate marzipan. It's, it's pretty hard, so it's like a... I don't know. We'll, we'll see what it is when we eat it. But it's a little hard piece of marzipan, chocolate coated marzipan. Uh, we have strawberry rhubarb premium white chocolate bar. This is probably going to be amazing here. So it's like a little crunch, crispy crunchy bar here. And the last thing, an almond cinnamon cream filled wafer. Just your basic wafer, something that's pretty popular over there as well. So first up, we're trying the onion ring looking Funyun Zweibels. Here we go. Always you gotta, you gotta smell. When it's a bag of something, you gotta smell. You gotta smell it before you eat it. It's not like a, I thought it was gonna be like a potent onion ring smell. Not the case. A little small, like, Cheerio looking things. Very light. Very easy to eat. They're not crazy crunchy. And the, uh, the onion taste is... It's there, but it's not, like, disgusting. Like, in a disgusting, overly-powered onion flavor. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably eat the entire bag of these. Not going to. But I could. Next up, we're gonna be trying the ketchup-flavored crispy french fry things. Yeah. Alright. So, I, I know I have seen this before. I don't know, I don't remember if I've tried it. I'm not a huge ketchup fan. Whoa! I almost jumped the entire box. Oh, wow. That's a very potent smell. Man, that's like very vinegary potent smell there. So these chips, yeah, these are just like hard. I mean, it's the same concept as, as these old funny and things. These are probably a little bit harder. Very, very heavy on the vinegar smell. They're actually a lot lighter than I thought they were going to be. I thought they're going to be more of a crunch, which is something I'm not a fan of when it comes to chips. So they are pretty uh, pretty light. Maybe not as light as the Funyuns we just had, but they are pretty light. Hmm. I mean, I get the ketchup a little bit. I wasn't sure how you're going to have a ketchup-flavored fry. I mean, it's there. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna do one more. I'm not sure. No, I just noticed by looking in the bag that, um... I don't know if you can see, but they're hollow. Yeah. They're hollowed out all the way through. That's probably why they're lighter than I thought they were gonna be. I didn't notice that at first. But, um... Yeah, they're, they're not... They're okay. I mean... You, I'm not a chip guy anyway. Or a french fry guy. I do eat them. If you're like, hey, you want some of my fries? I'd be like, sure. Am I ever going to eat order them intentionally? No. Unless they're covered in like 65 pounds of chili and cheese, then you just have to. So next up, we have the almond cinnamon cream filled wafer. They're spin up. They're individualized. Not much of a smell to them.
So the cream is almond cinnamon, and it tastes like Christmas. I mean, it does have snowflakes on it right here in the design you see. So they probably do have, this is probably is a Christmas snack. But yeah. I would, yeah, this is definitely Christmas. Almond cinnamon cream filled wafer. I would expect these to be on a table for Santa Claus in Germany. This is your cookie Santa. Next up, we're going to do this chocolate covered marzipan stick. Not, I don't know much about it. It's got a lot of German on it and... Even though I took German in college, I don't remember almost all of it, or any of it. Okay. This is a weird speckled looking chocolate stick. Alright. I have a feeling it's going to be good. I'm hoping it's not going to be bad. It smells like chocolate. Oh man. That's nostalgia. So if you've ever had a chocolate covered cherry before, this is exactly the exact same flavor, minus the cherry. Like the good ones that have like the cherry sauce and the cherry, some of them just do cherry sauce or cherry flavored cream now. Some of them have a cherry that doesn't have that, you know, that cherry sauce with it, or it doesn't ooze out when you bite into it. But the perfect ones have a combination of both. This is the exact same thing, minus cherry. Yeah. Which means it's good. So next up we have this crunchy chocolate sunrise rice chocolate bar thingy. Looks like it's pretty much a, a rice cake covered in chocolate. I'm assuming it's going to be more flavorful than a rice cake. Because uh, I'm pretty sure those things are just known for not having flavor. I'm not sure how crunchy this is going to be though. <clears throat> it's a very distinct smell to it. it. Smells like it's like a flavored chocolate. Hmm. We'll see. So yeah, it's legit just a chocolate covered rice cake. Like it's the rice cake is um has a popcorn flavor, so it's like a garlicky rice cake. Not maybe not garlic, maybe it's like a buttered rice cake. But a basic rice cake, I'm getting popcorn flavors in it, and then they just cover that in milk chocolate. Does it suck? No. Last but not least, we have our strawberry rhubarb premium white chocolate bar from Shockamunk, is the company name. I do like some white chocolate, and it's strawberry rhubarb. I haven't really had too many strawberry rhubarb flavored things before. So I just broke off two little pieces here. You kind of see the strawberry rhubarb in the back of it. Alright, let's see what we got here. I hope this is mind-blowing. Sometimes white chocolate can be overpowering. Not the case here. It's not super sweet. I mean, I know I, I can tell it's chocolate, but it's not like a super sweet chocolate. And that strawberry rhubarb is like, I don't know, it's, it's awesome. I don't think, I don't think I could eat more than one of these in a day. I'm trying to figure out how to explain why. The rhubarb flavor is good, but it's very, very tart on the back end. So you're eating it like, oh, this is great, but then you get that super tart flavor. It's like eating like a very, very sour piece of candy. And now I'm feeling it on my tongue like I just had a very something very, very sour in my mouth. So that's why I was saying earlier that I don't think I would be able to eat more than um more than one of those in a day. So there you have it. Those are all of the flavors for the Universal Yums month of March box. As I mentioned before, if you did enjoy this, click the thumbs up. If you have any questions about um about this box, how to sign up for anything like that. Just ask me in the comments below if you have any questions regarding Universal Yums. If you're interested in joining it, I recommend doing these kind of things because it's just a fun little monthly surprise you get. I don't like trying to figure out what kind of month it's going to, or what uh, what country it's going to be from. Just like opening up, seeing the country, trying things, and then uh, 
just kind of reviewing them and telling you how my taste buds are reacting to what I'm eating from other countries. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for tuning in.